watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany Dufran with your midday news break. Hello, welcome back to KTAL News Now. I'm Brittany Dufran, your host, and we have more trending stories for you today, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Starting with our top trending story on our website today, the Taylor Parker trial began this week, starting with testimonies in Bowie County. Parker is accused of killing a new Boston mother and her unborn baby from her womb. Beginning with opening statements, prosecutors say Parker told a series of lies. Those lies led to the murder of Reagan Hancock and her unborn baby girl named Bailey in October of 2020. Prosecutors also told the jury that evidence shown in the trial will show Parker stabbed Reagan more than 100 times. If convicted, Parker faces the death penalty. And our team is there at the trial today covering the, the trial to ha give you the latest information. So you can stay up to date on our social media and KTALnews.com. We'll have the latest information for you there and making sure that you are provided with that information in real time. Here's another trial our team is following extremely closely as well. The man accused of killing a Shreveport couple who gave him a ride from Mall St. Vincent back in 2018. Our team is there at the trial today as well, covering the latest information from you. As they receive new information, they hear Police Sergeant Angie Wilhite testified Monday in the trial of 37-year-old Dwayne Watkins. Watkins is charged with the first-degree murder of Heather and Kelly Jose. With the help of surveillance video from a kiosk at the mall, Wilhite detailed the last movements of the couple. They were able to see unique video captured as well with Watkins pacing back and forth in circles near the Jose's while they were shopping. And so more on this on KTALnews.com as well. We'll provide you with the latest information as our team is closely watching this trial as well. We also have your latest election update. Ten candidates left in the mayoral race for all hoping to lead Shreveport for the next four years. Monday, they had the chance to share topics that mattered most to Shreveport residents. And those were a various amount of topics that they covered. And this was actually the second mayoral forum for Shreveport hosted at Huntington High School. As I mentioned, many topics and issues were covered and discussed, including water, internal oversight, communication, and crime prevention. These topics mattered extremely, extremely important to the community members and residents that attended to the point where they expressed the importance of these candidate forums. And, you know, some even said they believe that there are many candidates for mayor of Shreveport with good platforms. So it seems that there is a good selection there and the community members are happy with who they can choose from. With Hispanic Heritage Month just around the corner, here's an event to kick off the festivities. This Saturday, the Hispanic Heritage Festival kicks off the month of honoring the Hispanic cultural traditions with a sold-out event. Attendees can expect music, art, and food galore, including food by El Novillo, the 2022 Taco Award winners. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I love me some good old tacos, so that's going to be an amazing event. I'm sad I'm not going to be attending, but for the attendees that will be there, I'm sure they'll have a great time. Coming up, we have more trending stories and President Biden's speech on ending cancer as we know it. Going to end you off here with our question of the day. Go ahead and open your camera right here to this QR code. You're going to want to take down the link that pops up when you Put your phone to that QR code. You're going to click on that, and that's going to populate you to our question of the day. So we wanted to ask you, are you confident in President Biden's cancer moonshot initiative? Tell us here, yes or no.
watching KTAL News Now. Here's Brittany Dufran with your midday news break. Hello there. Welcome back. I'm Brittany Dufran, your host, and we have more trending stories for your midday news break. In some national trending news, President Biden is talking about finding a cure for cancer. Biden promotes taking next steps with his administration on a cancer moonshot initiative. The president aims to boost biotechnology and biomanufacturing in the U.S. with his newly signed executive order. Now, this is a major commitment for the pre for President Biden to come forward and say this to um, to an audience, and I'm sure for the families who have been impacted by cancer are feeling grateful to hear his dedication to this as well. This actually leads us into our question of the day. Just want to quickly walk you guys through this. You're going to go ahead and open your camera, point your phone to this QR code, take it down. You're going to click the link and it's going to populate you to the question of the day. The question of the day is, are you confident in President Biden's Cancer Moonshot Initiative, go ahead and put your vote in, yes or no. We're going to be able to see that response in real time. Moving into our next trending story on our website, a substitute teacher is arrested after deputies say she encouraged students to bully a classmate. The Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office says 24-year-old Adriana Smith offered to pay students to tackle their classmate. According to reports, the incident allegedly happening during PE at North Caddo Elementary Middle School. Deputies say Smith sat on the bleachers while the victim laid on the, on the gym floor and did not report the incident. Investigators say more arrests are pending. But on to a little bit of a lighter note. It's that time of the year again. That's right, the State Fair of Louisiana is back. Preparations for the State Fair have already begun in Shreveport. Fairgoers will not be disappointed in the variety of events, activities, and food. The Louisiana Rodeo Cowboys Association will be held on November 4th, 5th, and 6th. Admissions to the rodeo and fair are $15. Now, I know I love a good visit to the State Fair, and you know what? That's going to be me with a corn dog in hand, so catch me there. And for all you early birds, tickets go on sale September 19th and at a discounted price. You can also visit, for, um, visit ktalnews.com for more information on that. In some regional news, an LSU student was taken into custody after trespassing onto the field during the LSU and Southern matchup. LSU officials say Maron O'Keel walked onto the field at the Tiger Stadium in the middle of a play. Stadium security officers and Baton Rouge police were able to take him off the field safely. O'Keel was issued a misdemeanor summons for criminal trespassing and resisting an officer by university police and you know this is very interesting i've seen this video all over social media and you can see him just gracefully walk onto the field and watch the play a lot of people on social media were saying he had the best seat in the house but as you can see here that didn't last very long and also very dangerous well that's all we have for you guys today thank you so much for tuning in we appreciate you guys and we'll see you tomorrow